Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, garage is closed, car's outside, and um, we're going to take a little tour, see what we've been doing all week. I had the whole week off to uh, button up a bunch of stuff and do some things, and so I'm going to go over all of that. But uh, first, let's take a little look. Okay guys, that was fun. <laughs> Taking, uh, getting my artistic side on, I guess. Um, anyway, let's start here at the back. Um, so one of the things that I did was I made this aluminum piece right here, um, basically just to hold the uh, plastics for the engine cover, inside engine cover. Uh, there'll be a lot more of that going on kind of acts as a little bit of a heat shield and then also as a nice finishing touch. That'll probably more than not get painted either black or white. I haven't decided yet. Um, we 3D printed uh, these babies right here. 
And if you remember our last few videos, we used the Creality uh, Scan Ferret uh, to scan those openings and then print out the new uh, pieces for that. And the beauty of it is they fit first time. I only had to print one uh, of each and fit perfectly. So if you guys need a scanner, it's really inexpensive. Uh, go to Creality.com and check them out. Uh, next thing that we did was we got um, most of these things uh, mounted here on the uh, interior. Uh, we put in some carpet. So this carpet is just uh, probably going to be somewhat temporary for now. Um, but it at least uh, kind of gets away from the uh, raw steel floor. Makes it look a little bit better. Uh, we've got our new console in, right? So... Um, this is not all finished, so you've seen what finished carbon fiber looks like, which is this, where it's not quite a mirror finish, but it's a much nicer finish. It's got a little orange peel on it, but you can uh, sand and buff that out if, if that's your thing. Um, but that needs some more epoxy layers and so on and so forth. But for the car show, I just went ahead and threw it in here because I didn't want to rush it. Um, we've got some uh, carbon fiber Kevlar in there, red Kevlar. And then we're going to trim it out with uh, some paint um, to make it look nice and uh, beautiful in there because we do have some issues with the carbon here. So I'll probably just do some design that can uh, basically hide those kinds of things. Um, we did a little bit of a herringbone here, which turned out somewhat okay, but we may put a stripe across that there. Um, we covered this guy in leather, so we made a panel for the back just using uh, regular fiberboard, and then it's all uh, skinned in leather, um, and then we put the speakers in uh, behind there, and then we have some uh, cutouts you can see here for the seat belt because they go to the frame, and then what we'll probably do is 3D print a plastic piece that'll go around here, sand that, finish it, paint it. Uh, we finished up our... Uh, basically our rear window surround so this still needs to get locked in there uh, screwed in from behind um, we carp we actually built some uh, covers back here for the uh, electronics so I'll show you that in just a second so you can see we've got our little rat's nest back here which still needs to be uh, tidied up a little bit but we've got this nice cover that um, slides in here and fits underneath the here nicely and we'll make sure that we can um, uh, bolt that in so that it stays nice and tight although the seats butt up kind of right next to it anyway uh, carpet on the passenger side as well um, so those are some of the major things that we've done and then last but not surely not least um, we did forge carbon on these guys they're not done yet they will still need sanding and some more coats of clear. Um, also, they need a little cleanup. But So those pieces uh, will be done more in the future. I put in um, the belt line here. Um, you can see that we have kind of a <laughs> widening gap here. And so we're going to take care of the... the gap once we uh, put the windows back in we'll start uh, tightening those things up uh, we got it all in primer so i went and fixed a lot of the glaring issues but there's a lot of little details that still need to be handled we need to get the marker lights in uh, we need to fit the rear bumper a little bit better so we have better fitment there but we have you know nice shot lines now um, here for the rear deck and the rear quarters as well as on this side so nice tight lines um, but we need to get that for the rear um, some of these lines will still need to be worked out um, we did do some of the door lines so those still are close but they still need to be adjusted same up front here I at least kept them from being so tight that they were rubbing. But, uh, yeah. 
So yeah, there's still a lot to go on the car. I mean, I know I have a lot of people asking, you know, when's it going to be done? When do you think? I'm just like, I don't know. Remember, guys, this is, car is built from scratch. I started with nothing, not even a, a frame. Had to build a frame, source all the parts, be able to figure out how to mount panels, how to print panels, how to skin panels. There's so much work that's gone into this vehicle. Um, so the fact that I'm about five and a half years into it, I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, it runs, it drives. Uh, so we're going to take it to the show. I think it'll show okay. Um, the nice thing is, is it's in primer. So I think people will have low expectations of, you know, basically not coming up to it and saying, what, what did I did do to my Lamborghini? <laughs> Which is what the kind of the things uh, the comments that I got from uh, other shows where I had to rush paint the car and everything and things weren't fitting nicely so yeah so the bulk of that work is done but I think there's a lot of little details um, to handle on the car let me know what you guys think in the comments let me know what you think of the car um, what things would you change what things would you not have done the way I did them um, I'm just kind of interested in what other people's thoughts are. It's not necessarily saying that I'm going to do that myself, but, uh, it is interesting to hear what other people, uh, and how they go about their builds. And then we also did this, uh, map area up here. We got, um, this guy in here, you can see, so we got that map light in there. The issue with this guy is it's about an inch too long. So it needs to come up. So I need to cut about an inch off of here. And then as well as here, as you can see through the windshield, because it just blocks too much of my view. And the interesting thing is, is that when you look at the real one, this is actually a relatively thin area and it kind of sits up like this because it's really hard to see the map light when it's right underneath here. It should be kind of coming out and facing you. So got some adjustments to do there. Thanks to you guys for watching. Um, thanks to Creality for helping us out and um, really uh, shortcutting some of the work that we've done on doing the trims. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Um, you know, it's been a long road and we got a long road to go. So um, I'm sorry if you're waiting for it to be done, but I'm one person um, and there's just so many little details to cover and I really don't want to screw it up.